imagine a time without pen and paper. Written numbers were not created yet either. How did people do mathematical calculations? The answer is with an abacus. An abacus is a device used for basic arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Different forms of abaci were used in multiple civilizations across the world. The abacus has changed over the ages and survives to this day. Back in 2700 to 2300 BC in Mesopotamia, the abacus was known as the Sumerian abacus. It was a table of columns representing numbers based on factors of 60. This primitive device was believed to have been used for addition and subtraction, but not for more complex calculations like multiplication and division. The Greeks also used the abacus as far back as the 5th century BC. The Salamis tablet, discovered in 1846 AD, dates back to 300 BC. It is made of marble and had sets of parallel lines drawn into it. The tablet was used for calculations that were too difficult to do in your head. The Roman hand abacus was invented around 300 BC to 500 AD. It was created to be convenient and portable for engineers and merchants. The Roman abacus is made out of a metal plate with eight long grooves and eight short grooves. The long grooves have up to five beads in each groove and the short grooves have one or zero beads in each groove. The Chinese abacus was created around 200 BC and was known as the swan pen, meaning counting tray. This form of the abacus has 13 vertical wires, each with seven sliding beads, mounted in a rectangular frame. A horizontal beam divides the beads, so there are two on the top and five on the bottom. Beads that are moved towards the beam are counted, while those moved away are not. This abacus was used for hexadecimal computations, meaning a base 16 number system. Unlike the older forms of the abacus, the Chinese were able to figure out new ways to use it in order to find square roots and cube roots along with the basic operations. During the 14th century, the Chinese abacus was introduced to Japan. The Japanese eventually modified the Chinese abacus by removing a bead from each wire, both above and below the divider beam. This made the abacus more suitable for decimal calculations, and the Japanese abandoned the hexadecimal system of numbers. It became known as the Soroban, which also means counting tray. On November 12, 1946, a contest between a Soroban and an electronic calculator ended with the Soroban's victory winning four out of five rounds and losing only in multiplication. In the 17th century, the Russian abacus, the Shati, was invented. The Shati was designed to do calculations based on Russian currency, rubles and kopecks. There are ten beads in each undivided wire, except for one of the wires, which has four beads. The two beads in the middle of each wire is a different color from the rest of the beads. The Sha T is used vertically and the beads move horizontally. As of today, the abacus is still used throughout the world, mainly in China, Japan, Russia, and other Asian communities. Even though its use tends to be scarce nowadays, the abacus has been a useful mathematical device throughout history.